This video is to give some helpful hints for the second scenario in the SpongeBob SquarePants variables activities. I'm going to read the scenario and then give you some hints to help answer the four questions below. Read along while I read the scenario to you. SpongeBob noticed that his favorite pants are not as clean as they used to be. His friend Sandy told him that he should try using Clean Q detergent, a new laundry soap she found at Salemart. SpongeBob was sure to wash one pair of pants in plain water, another pair of in, uh, in water with Clean Q detergent. After washing both pairs of pants a total of three times, the pants washed in the Clean Q detergent did not appear any to be any cleaner than the pants washed in plain water. So there's quite a bit of information that we learned about SpongeBob's pants being cleaned by clean Q detergent and water in this scenario. The first question is, what is the problem SpongeBob was trying to investigate? This would be his science question. You can probably figure this one out just by trying to figure out what the situation is in the whole scenario. So, uh, so for number seven here, it says, what is the independent variable? Remember, the independent variable is the variable that is the experiment. What is it that SpongeBob is testing? For number eight, dependent variable is usually some type of observation or measure. So we have to look back into the problem and see if we can find somewhere where SpongeBob made an observation or a measurement to help answer his question. In number nine, we need to write a conclusion for SpongeBob. The conclusion is something that we would use to say whether or not the experiment yielded significant results. What were the results? How significant were they? And you can write a statement there. And that is enough hints to help you answer question number 